On the occasion of Indian Navy Day, US firm Lockheed Martin has revealed the first look of MH-60 Romeo helicopters for the Indian Navy. India has ordered 24 such anti-submarine helicopters at a cost of $2.6 billion, and officials have said that the Indian Navy will receive the first three helicopters in early 2021. The Indian Air Force has tested 10 Akash missiles today with an aim to validate different scenarios to target enemy fighter jets that may violate the Indian airspace. Officials have said that the test was highly successful, as a majority of the Akash system scored a direct hit against maneuverable expendable aerial target drones. The missiles were upgraded recently, that has increased its stealth features, and it will enable effective targeting at high altitudes and will also surprise the enemy stealth fighter jets that are equipped with anti-radiation missiles. After the lease of two Sea Guardian drones from US, the Indian Navy is looking to lease an unspecified number of mine countermeasure vessels and naval utility helicopters, in order to fill the capability gap, while the process for larger contract for both platforms under make in India is continuing with foreign collaboration, and the Indian Navy chief has made it clear that the Navy is no longer interested on procuring the naval Dhruv helicopter variant from Hindustan Aeronautics. The Indian Navy has also approached the Finance Ministry with some funding models for shipyards, which is similar to the Indian Railway Finance Corporation, as the Navy aims to raise funds from these alternative funding models, as the allocated budget is inadequate to meet its committed liabilities, and is seriously affecting its future acquisition plans. The Indian Army chief is expected to visit Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates next week, and he is scheduled to hold discussions with top military officials in both the countries, and the visit aims to further boost India's defense and security ties with the two influential countries in the Gulf region. Saudi Arabia has shown interest to collaborate with India on joint production of defense equipment, and the country is currently evaluating Kalyani Group's Bharat 52 and Garuda V2 artillery systems, while the UAE has shown interest in purchasing the Brahmos system from India, and is also awaiting the Indian government to clear the purchase of 93,895 car 816 carbines for the Indian Army. The US government has approved India's request to purchase $90 million worth of military hardware and services from Lockheed Martin, in support of its fleet of C-130J Super Hercules aircraft. The proposed sale includes aircraft consumable spares and repair parts, cartridge actuated devices and propellant actuated devices, fire extinguisher cartridges and flare cartridges, advanced radar warning receiver, 10 lightweight night vision binoculars and 10 night vision goggles and some EW equipments, and this procurement will enable the Air Force to sustain a mission-ready status with respect to the C-130J transport aircraft. In a major development, the Defence Ministry has approved the creation of a new post of Deputy Chief for Military Operations and Strategic Planning in the Indian Army, who will deal with military operations intelligence and strategic planning and operational logistics. The Ministry has also completed formalities for creation of another new post of Director General of Information Warfare.